Tom, that looked like a really enjoyable match to watch. Was it just as enjoyable to play in, in, in this heat? Yeah, it was a great game from us, to be fair. Um, we started brilliantly, probably had two or three chances that, you know, Jarvis and Brad have been putting away for us normally. So, uh, yeah, I hope they put them away and give us a bit of a lead. But, um, you know, they're not going to score everything. Um, then they had a couple of chances and going at the break evens. But, um, yeah, I think on the whole we deserved it. And there's no better way than scoring the stoppage time. And uh, we saw the game out brilliantly. What's it like at the, at the interval then when you, you've been on top and you haven't got the lead that your, your play deserves? Is, is that when it's all about confidence then and thinking, look, we'll do this in the second half? Yeah, we knew the chances would come. Um, we played well enough and I think, you know, we followed on from Tuesday night, which is a good performance with another one. Um, yeah, so we just knew the chances would come if we kept on doing it, keep uh, playing the way we were. Um, and yeah, fortunately they did. And uh, yeah, we've got the goals. But the great thing is now is that only a few weeks ago we were talking about that the team has actually performed better in the second half. The team's now starting strongly as well, but also with the goal right at the end, they're finishing strong as well. Yeah, I don't know what it is to play more. We seem to be getting goals and added time every week. So yeah, I hope that carries on every single game. And uh, yeah, hopefully we don't need it like we needed the one today. And it'll be like the Farnborough one where Giles has stuck a penalty away in the last minute, um, you know, to give us a 3-0 or an easy game. So um, yeah, we're hoping to score a few more goals during the game and not have to rely on a a last minute winner, but um, yeah, they're the best way to win. And I think you can see the, what it meant to everyone at the end. And you know, the fans again were brilliant. And uh, you can see what it meant to them. So yeah, looking, uh, looking upwards now. We're approaching that 10 game mark now, which is usually when supporters start to take a little bit more notice of the table. So to be a third in the table, just a point behind the leaders is, is a decent place to be, isn't it? Yeah, obviously we set ourselves a target, um, you know, being at least two points a game. And, you know, we're now just above that. Um, if we keep this up for the rest of the season, we'll be there or thereabouts come the end of the season. Like you say, 10 games is when people look at it, but nine games with, you know, the FA Cup break next week is probably another time to look at it. And um, yeah, we just got to keep on ticking them off now. I think it's six wins in seven. So um, yeah, from the slowish start to the season and performances maybe not being up to scratch what we've expected ourselves um, you know we demand more from ourselves you know and I think you've seen that especially the last two games at playing more and we want to play well in front of the fans um, and uh, I think we've done that this week. So obviously now breaking uh, league action as we look towards the FA Cup game we would imagine that the uh, determination to uh, reach for say, the next round is going to be very much the same as chasing after three points. Yeah definitely of course um, you know FA Cup to be honest it's the greatest competition we get to play in. Um, Unless there's some to get fortunate enough to play in the Nationals. Uh, yeah, the FA Cup's the best for me. You know, I love the Cup. So, um, yeah, I'd love to have a great run in the Cup like we did last year and end up with a good game. Um, yeah, it'll be another one and it'll be nice. And, yeah, we'll be just as desperate to win that as if we were the league. Finally, Tom, quick mention for the supporters. They were magnificent again today, weren't they? Yeah, excellent. They've been excellent. And, um, you know, we, let's be honest, we've, we know our performances haven't been up to scratch at the start of the season with the, the standards we've set ourselves, especially in pre-season. You know, I think... It maybe lulled them into thinking we could play like that every week, and you know we'd love to play like that every week, and you know we're striving to be that. Um, you know and beat, you know we comfortably beat Exeter and gave a great so count ourselves against Plymouth. So we we set our standards that high for ourselves, and you know we're more disappointed than anyone when we don't perform like that. Um, so yeah, I can understand our frustrations at the start of the season, but you know it's not behind us now. And like I said, six wins and seven, two great performances in front of the home fans this week. Um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully they can just stick with us now for the rest of the season and we can make this place a real fortress. Well, thank you for joining us, Tom, and congratulations on the result today. Cheers, Dom. Thank you.